whole YouTube family. How's it going? Happy 2024. I think I'll be saying that for the next couple of weeks. Heading out on a relatively, I don't know, decent day. It's kind of cloudy. For us, it's a little chilly. For some of you that are watching this, you're going to laugh. But um, this is it. This is the time of the year down here when the water temperature drops, gets down to like the mid 60s, the water temperature, and then the fish move in and they move into shallow water, into the patcheries. We're talking eight, 10, 12 feet of water. And we're talking big fish for the most part. So i um, gonna head out today with, uh, with the Hikemeister. First time that we'll be fishing uh, this year together. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do. So follow me, it's gonna be a great kickoff to a great year. And uh, yeah, we just know it's just gonna be a fantastic year this year. So follow me, it's gonna be awesome. Let's catch some fish. Yeah, look what I got. What do you got? Oh, nice. You know, I was I was picking up shrimp and I saw it for sale, and I was like, why not? Okay, that's freaking beautiful. I'm gonna try to always have some live bait ready to go. And I like the fact that it's oval like that, so they can run around in there. Yeah. All right, that looks really, really, really good. You want to see the shrimp I got? Yeah. What were you saying? They're big. I mean, compared to. Compared to other times, I'd say they're pretty juicy. Okay. Yeah, nice. I mean, they're they're all right. Oh, we should be able to get some fish today, man. Look at that. There she goes. Already she's acting great. Oh, wait. I'm I'm not that smart. I should probably cast net for pilchards first. Oh. You're saying they're out here? Just yeah, like right, right there? there? There they were a second Pilchards? ago. Pilchards? Nice, big, fat ones. Shit. Where did they go? Uh, where did they go? There's still some right there. All right, there. All right, where are they at? Oh, I see right, right in here. They don't even see you coming. I don't even know if you're going to open. <laughs> First throw of the year. Oh. All right. Uh, you know. Uh, you know, a little rusty. 2024. It's been a while since I've thrown a net. Did you get any? It looks like it. Hey, you got some in there. I see him. Nice. Bingo. All right. We actually got some. You got some. Woo. Okay. Sweet. Excellent. Anchor is down. We're sitting on a patch. We can't see the patch necessarily because the water is murky. Murky water. But I can see a little sand patch there. I wonder if there's any ballyhoo out here. All right, we're going to rig it up. It's looking good. It's looking good. I feel good. It's got a real light, light rig. I'll even turn that. the engine off with confidence. Ooh. Boom. There we go. I'm going to put it on this right here. A little, little, piece, of, little piece of shrimp. You using a little shrimp there, Dave? I'm going to try a little shrimp. Right, little on shrimp. That, right on that little uh, jiggy poo. A little innocent oh. shrimp. I think I'm on. I just, I just had a time. Oh, I'm oh, on. Oh, I'm oh, on. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, oh. Here we go. Come on, take it. Take it. I'm gonna set that hook here. And, and you got it. Oh, you got a. You, you got a. You got a pilchy, right? Yeah. Bingo, bingo. Come on, baby. Come oh. on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Just not enough. I think I lost my. Pilchy. Not a big fish. I think I lost my 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 shrimp. Oh no. Nope. Definitely oh. catching is a hell of a lot better than just kind of fishing. Come on. Come I'm back. Still on. Don't be shy. That looks Damn. pretty nice. Just bzzz. There we Let's go. Let's get some nice snappers. Oh, some snappers would be nice. Yeah, snappers would be That'd nice. That'd be eating time, yeah. But you can't tell because ooh, the water's so murky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, baby mutton. mutton. Baby mutton. Baby. Mutton Hello, baby snapper. mutton. Little baby mutton. All right. They're, they're down there. Fish are everywhere. Come on. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. coming at the boat. Coming like right at the boat. Oh, he's a small fish. I could, I could tell he's a, oh, it's a yellow small yellowtail. Tail. All right. So you get a plethora of fish. Nice, well, we have a whole, nice yeah, little yellowtail. Yellow without even, without even chumming. We haven't even started chumming. Yeah, if we start chumming, it might get a little crazy. Look at that. We're going back there, you're a lucky guy. Chum gone. Nice. Look at that rod bend, man. I love that. Dan's rod's always bending over. <laughs> I have to work for that. What's that? What is this? Is it a little yellow jack? Yeah, it's oh, a little yellow jack. 
Ooh, he's something. been cut. Somebody likes him, probably a Barry. That's good sashimi right there. It's your call if you want him. Uh, yeah, he's a little small. Yeah, I think we're gonna do better than this today. We're gonna work our way up till we get a really big fish. Uh, he got cut not today. Ah, it's not today. It's an old wound. Old wound? All right. Yeah, it's an old wound good. that he's got. He's lucky he's been bit before, and now he's been caught before. Oh! There we oh. go. Look at that. Look at that cut. Look at that cut right there. But it's an old wound. So he's okay. All right, you're going back, bub. There you go. Fish. What a lucky guy. Man, it's like every cast. Dan is on again. Whew, small fish, but, but fun. Not a monster. Damn, we want to see some big fish. We want to see some big freshish. Bring him over to the side again. Not sure this time. Every time is different. Is that a grunt? I don't know. Oh, no. Uh, a, a blue runner this blue time. Runner. I mean, this is a plethora of fish, of species. Interesting. If we had a big, like, shark rod, we could. Oh, yeah, just throw them out there. Yeah. All right, another guy who's going back. Next time, I'm going to bring a big rod. Off to go. Big circle hook. We and then probably we should always do that. Chuck one out. You know that? We should always be prepared like that. Yeah. Even if it's like a shark or something, it would just be good. Yeah. Fun. So we're at the point now where we're getting to hit every single cast. Every time we throw out, we're getting boom, bang, Bam. boom, bang. Very simple rigs. Let me show you the rig. So just simply taking shrimp, taking that head off, put them on the jig. Gotta be a good six, seven, eight pound mutton out there. Roman at the bottom, looking for a piece of shrimp, right? Just like that. Dude, I'm getting hit already. Not even, not even kidding. You're getting hit already. Oh, oh, I had a good hit. Didn't even hit the bottom. And we're on. Damn. Ooh. Oh, oh I lost that trick? one. Yeah. Come on. Ooh. He's not giving up. Ooh, that, was, that was a good one. Oh, I just Bingo. got grabbed. Bingo. 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 I got grabbed on a, Doubled up. On Doubled a naked up. jig. Oh, it's these uh, leatherback thingies. Oh, wow. They're, they bite? They can hook you pretty good. Ooh, nice fish here. What is this? Oh, it's another yellow Oh, hey. Not a bad size. That's kind of a yeah. juicy yellow tail. Yeah, he took me and took me and took me and took me until he finally yeah. finished that. Hatch reef fishing at its finest. Ow! This guy's got a lot of spikes. Heiko, Heiko's, <laughs> he's fighting his fish. We're both fighting for our lives over here. The other fish. <laughs> Stung me again. Nice. And a good and a quick release. Got a quick release back there. Whew. It's a little rough. My release isn't that quick. It's a little rough. Heiko's having a little trouble over there. <laughs> the fish is kicking his butt is what's going on. He's stung me like four times. I think these things are poisonous. If you start going into convulsions, I'll have to take you in. You got him? He got him. All right. Thank goodness. All right. So that's that's the patchery fishing, man. Look at that. One after the other. Bang, bang, bang. It's amazing. Again. We're on again. This is literally every cast. You're killing it. Every cast. You're going under the boat. Get over here. Come on. Show me the magic. Oh, he's swimming in circles. Oh, it's a little mutton again. It's a baby mutton. We got, we're in the nursery. We're in the mutton snapper yeah. nursery. There we go. Nice. Good work. Another, another little mutton. We got to get the bigger ones, though. We got to find out where mommy and daddy are hanging out. They're awfully suspicious of my shrimp. Yes. <laughs> Super light action makes this so fun. Got him, got him? Yeah, yeah, he's coming. What do we got here? Got a nice one. Nice fish on. And looks like a mutton snapper. All right. Woo! There we go. 
Little mutton snappers. Little mutton snappers. So they're about what? 10, 12, uh, 12, 14? Yeah. Must be, they must be loaded down there. The whole bottom must be just crawling with them. We got to find out though where the bigger ones are because they're all seem to be about the same size right now. So, so they got to be around. But, but lots and lots of action, just lots of fun. We just need bigger, bigger and better. Bigger and better. Bingo. Ooh. Okay, this is a good one. Yeah? Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, or better, let's put it that way. A little bit better. Just trying to take a little line. Woo. Okay. Yeah, he might be a keeper. If he's a yellowtail, he's a keeper. Yellowtail, this is Yeah, it depends on what he is. Let's see what he is. Come on, he's got a good hook. It's heavy. It's a heavy fish. Oh, wow. He just figured out his hook. Now is when I'm happy to have 30 right. pounds. 30 Do we pounds need a fish. net for this guy? Uh, no. Oh, he's it's a little bigger. Bigger mutton. He's a little bigger. Nice, Woo. nice hook set right in the corner of the he mouth. He might be almost keeper. Right in like, the corner of the mouth. I don't know. You think? Where's your. Uh, he's. The, the measuring's on the uh, on the cooler. Yeah, he's he's, he's probably fat. like 17, 17 and a half. I'm gonna let him go. We, All right, we let him keep, go. We want to keep the ones that are no question. Look at that though. He's pretty. Ooh, that's very, a whole, pretty, hold on, let me pretty, get it. Pretty fish. All right, so we just got both of us just got cut off by a big barracuda. What do you think? Four, four and a half feet? Yeah, he's a big boy. He's a big boy barracuda. Came up, grabbed my fish, grabbed Heiko's fish. I'm hoping we don't have to leave. Because now he's got the taste of fish blood. He sure does. I'm glad we didn't get him up to the boat, actually. I don't know what we would have done. He's a pretty damn big. Doubled <laughs> up. I, mine's not a biggie. Mine's not that big. Mine's either. not a big fish, but it's a fish nonetheless. No barracuda. And it's another small mutton. So, you got a small mutton? Yeah, they are. They're, they must Ooh. be loaded. Down. I got a mangrove snapper. Oh, you got a mangrove. And I got my bait bag. Nice. Okay. So, that's, and a big that's a that's a win. Yeah. Good, really good hook set right here, right this set. So, you gonna let him go? Just a nice little one. Nice fish you got there, Dan. Looking forward to the season, you know, the, the spawning in April. Uh, the snapper won't open his mouth for me. Living up to his name. Now all of his spikes going right into my hand. Still looking for that big boy. Open your mouth, buddy! <laughs> Open sesame! Alright. Yo! Dang! Damn, Dan. I haven't even got my fish back in the water and you're already <laughs> catching a fish. Oh, did I just lose? No. no. I'm gonna let this snapper keep his shrimp oh, as that's his. Nice. Yeah, free very snack. generous. Whoa! Big Barry came flying. Oh, I you saw see him. Big, big Barry. Woo! Dude, you are lucky. Barry came out of nowhere. Damn. If we had a Woo! stinger rig, Woo! we could chuck him out on it and catch that barracuda. You guys that barracuda just just stinger. Damn. Hmm. Dang. He came. You are a you better swim for your life. Yeah, that's a lucky blue runner. Swim and swim. He almost hard lost his tail end. That Barry came out of nowhere. All right, pretty amazing. <laughs> Just one of those days, man. Every cast. Oh man, it barely makes it to the bottom. Hey, no, no, on again. Get back, get back, get back, come on. Oh, oh, dude, dude, I don't know if this is the... Oh, oh shit, that looks like a... This could be a Barry or a big... Oh, no! Oh, it broke oh. you off. No, I don't think. Oh, well, it got off. Oh, yeah, that could have been. Off. That could have been the mutton. Dan. That was a big one. I think you just had the big mutton. On. That was a good fish. Alright. Oh. Good fish around here. That's, that's, the, that's the lesson learned. Oh, oh, fish, fish, fish. Come on, baby. Take it. Oh, come on. Mm. Bingo. Bingo. Oh uh, yeah. Not the biggie. Ooh, the big, I, it looks good though. I gotta get him before that barracuda gets him. That's the real deal. Why are they not biting my... Okay, a little mangrove. Oh, you got a mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper. All right, yeah. all right. Boy, there is a variety of fish out there today. Hey, he's not too bad. He's, oh, he's no, an no. all right sizer. I was a hungry man. 
If you were a hungry man, if, if they didn't sell fish sandwiches at McDonald's, that is correct. It's on again! Me too. I tell you, this is getting old, but I wouldn't be lying. Alright, All right, I got a bait out there. We gotta watch out for Barry. I know he's out there. What you got on there? I do not know. But it's it's squirming like a fish. Good. Oh! Oh! That's another one. Uh, mutton snapper. Mutton snapper! Alright, we gotta find bigger ones though. I have a feeling we're in a nursery now. Yeah, this is definitely. I mean, this is fun. But. I mean, I've seen huge ones here, but I don't. I'm out! Alright, that looks good. Oh, what did it came off? Gone? What? Damn. I agree. Bang. I will conveniently throw my bait out right on top of yours. In case I lose him, you'll be there to swoop him Yeah, up. yeah, I'll, I'll snag him if he gets up here, boy. Swoop him up. Okay, a little bit. He feels a little bigger, a little nicer. Not sure what he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a, he's a Oh, one. another mutton. A little bit bigger, though. They're getting bigger. That's a good sign. Okay, and now this one was caught on a piece of dead shrimp. On a dead shrimp. Dead, old shrimp. Like you don't even need live shrimp out here. starving. Man. Okay, I'll let him go. I'll let another good one. Not a keeper, but a good fish. Okay, my man Heiko over here is getting a little, getting a little frustrated. So I'm gonna tell him my secret. He doesn't know what my secret is. So you've been using whole shrimp. Yeah. Cut them in half. Cut the shrimp. The in smell half? because of the because of the water, I think. The smell, they, they, they're they on it before, as soon as it hits the bottom. All right, so. You got the whole one, he's just swimming around. Yeah, all right. So. All right, I gave him away my secret. Now he's gonna start catching fish. Dan, get, Dan spilled his secret. <laughs> Cut your shrimp in half. Let him smell it. I got a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan says, I got a problem. I got a problem. He's in the rock. You gotta pull him out of there somehow. He came out of the rock. And then he went back in the rock. Why is there a rock right here? That's what I want. Yeah, why is there a rock? Oh, hey, maybe you'll pull up the famous Dan's Rockfish. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! There we it's go. happening! Yeah! Ooh, what do you got there? It looks juicy! Oh! It's a hogfish! Yo, Mr. Hogfish, first one of the day. That's a good looking hogfish. Look at him. Damn. Nice. Yo, there it is. My rockfish. Oh. There we go. So, every, every gotta, gotta get a rockfish. Dan got his rockfish. That's it. It's not a fishing trip, so you got one. That's we it. can't show this on video, it's too brutal. <laughs> All right, there we go. Whew. All right, he's going back. There he goes. Come on, back. It's pretty. It's got a very odd smell. I know it sounds weird, but hmm. does that smell? It's like seaweed. -y. Very seaweed. -y. All right, go on, little buddy. Get big. Go on, bitch. Get out of here. That's it. That's that makes my entire fishing trip today. Rock Get fish. out of here. Mice are on. There we go. We're still catching. I mean, it's just one after the other. Yeah, we still catching them. Knocking them out. Knocking them dead. This is just, just catching. It's barely fishing. Yeah, we are definitely not fishing. <laughs> this is a catching trip. <laughs> That's right. What do we got here? Oh, little, oh, little. Ah, there we go. Mangrove. Little snapper. mangrove again. All right. Got to find out where the where the beasts are. Yeah, where's the big ones? Those taste good after coming from the ocean. Yeah. You can just see tell how clean they are. Yeah. Just don't want to get bit, that's all. You really do not want to get bit by them. They give you a good little, and then they won't let go. <laughs> nice. Yep. Bah! Love those little guys. Snap. All right. Very cool. <laughs> and we have caught a ton of fish in this general area, but I think it's about time we probably moved on because they're seemingly about the same size. And uh, yeah, we're gonna move. So we're gonna hit another spot. You know what to do though, right? Follow us to the next spot. Not a biggie, but uh, we're in a new spot and we got a fish on. Guess what it is? A grunt. Dang, a grunt. No, not a grunt. Not a grunt. All right. I'm about to set this hook so hard. 
<laughs> All right, I'll let you go, Grunty. Here we go. Here we go. Something a little different, a little bigger, a little something. All right, you're fishing almost straight up. And down. Oh, it's a, it's a yellow tail. Not a bad. Right, that's a that's an okay one. He's got some dirt to him. Yeah. Thickness. Nice. Let's let, let's make believe it's a sailfish. Hey, it's a sailfish. It's a sailfish. Look at that. A houndy sailfish. He's jumping, jumping like a sailfish. Ready? Come on, those are fun to catch. What the hell? He's different. What's gonna be got different? Ourselves a big old houndfish. We gotta get him on board. Ah! ah! <laughs> Oh, he's chafing my line. There he is, there he rat. is. Oh my. I like those teeth. Yeah. They got teeth, those dudes. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about is I'm Everything's on the patch reef. That's a grab my throat. <laughs> Holy macaroni. He's got teeth, right? Yeah. A big old eye. He's looking at you like, how dare you? He's like, I'm gonna remember that face. How dare you? He's got a big eye. Yeah, cool. Alright, All right, I'm turning into the grunt master. Oh, the grunt. Yeah, well, it's like the second or third one. Dan! Dan just got hooked up basically on a live valley hoop. Ho, ho, ho. He's going for the he's going that for the could, patch that reef. Could be the mushroom, dude. He's going for the patch reef. Ooh, he is he's going for the patch reef. Come on, baby, get away from them rocks. You know how I feel about that. I don't see him yet. I don't see him yet. Get that net ready because that's gonna we're gonna be need fun. a net whatever this is we're gonna need a net we'll see whatever it is we're gonna need a net get him first big month. hey this boy's heavy oh yeah 15 feet of water that's gotta be a month i still don't see him oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah he no! <laughs> won't we'll fit in the net that's a mutton whoa baby that's a mutton oh Ah, I gotta hold him up. Woo! Yeah, wow. I'm gonna pick this guy up. Oh, look at that badass. Love it. He's a slob. Nice. He is a slobetta. Oh, finally, today, big boy keeper. Nice. That is a big boy. A nice one. Holy That's smokes. Nice. Whole valley here, man. That's the way to roll. Look at that tail. Yeah. That's what gives him that power. That big ass tail. All right. Well, guess what you're going to be, buddy? You're going to be dinner for Heiko and us. <laughs> so, all right, good deal. I say we get another uh, whole valley go out there. There's got to be more than yep, one. Yep, all right. There's got to be more than one. More than one. All right. The man's got a big fish on We don't know if it's... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping he's hooked. He looks pretty hooked to me. He does not know that he is hooked. Oh, boy. He doesn't know. He does not know he's hooked yet. Let's see what he is. Let's see what the deal is going to be here. I'm going to bring my guy. <laughs> He doesn't know he's hooked. He really doesn't know he's hooked. He doesn't know he's hooked. I don't even know if he's hooked. <laughs> All right, not a monster fish. Here we go. He's here. He's right not here. Not a monster he's fish. He's right here. It's oh, a grouper. Oh, you got a grouper. I got a little grouper. A baby grouper. Look at that. A whole valley hoop. You got some nerve, baby grouper. He went right for it. Here he is. Nice. And look, look, I just barely, just barely have him hooked. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. That ballyhoo is doing some acrobatic wow. moves. All right. Red, red grouper. Oh. Lots of catch today. Oh, lots of catch. This is my this is my grouper spot after all. That's right. Echo's taking me to all his secret spots. For a dollar, I'll tell you where they all are. <laughs> For a dollar? <laughs> For a dollar. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Off you go, Bubba. Adios.
Bye. So that's interesting that the uh, grouper are wandering off the patch reef. Pretty far off. Okay. Pretty far off, you're right. January. Amazing. Yeah. Don't get much prettier than that, but I think we're going to call it a day, head back. Uh, oh! Got hit? As I was reeling them in. Ah, uh, they may start hitting now because the sun's going down. That's very pretty. Wait, he's going back. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Clean the beast. Clean the beast. I go into his uh, skills, cleaning skills. All right. This one thing this thing has is they have big scales. Very big scales. So mm -hmm. I'm curious to see if he's got my other ballyhoo in his stomach, which I think he does. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna open up Look his stomach Arr. and see. Arr. And they got serious teeth too, man. Yeah. They can just suck that ballyhoo down and gone. And man, they're powerful, man. They when they swim, they swim hard. Yeah, they they hit like sharks. Yeah. When I first started catching muttons, every time I hooked one, I'm like, ah, oh, it's a shark. Just the way they slam that bait and take off. Nope, it's just a big mutton. Yep. Remember when you got when you got one that big? He, 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 very close to that or maybe even maybe i don't know same size or bigger but on the jig remember that time you got him on the jig oh yeah that was a that was that was a battle that was rewarding yes you get that neck pretty sharp dude uh -oh. yeah except that i can't cut through those super thick ribs i'm gonna have to cut up and over them mm -hmm. one half, fillet half done but bam, we'll take the other fly off, and then we're gonna look in the belly. Then we gotta check the belly out. Ooh, nice, <laughs> nice profile. <laughs> yeah, there that. That could be his Tinder profile picture. <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Looking, looking for a, uh, a a spouse. Yeah, just lost a lot of weight. In <laughs> fact, I lost the whole full day. <laughs> You know, we should have probably bled him out too. You know that? Really? Yeah, you know, remember that. I was thinking that too. When I, when I first cut into him, a lot of blood came yeah. out. Yeah, we should do that with every single fish. I don't know. Yeah, and there's always someone that's like, why don't you bleed your fish? Yeah. It's like, I don't know, I just forget sometimes. And you get caught up in a minute, and it's like, and then you want to keep fishing, so. Every time I catch a fish, I have the dilemma. I'm like, ah, do I bleed him out? And then I'm always like, nah. And then later in the day, I'm always like, I should. Mm -hmm. Look what he did to me. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna make a nice meal. Oh, boom! All right, two. You're gonna make a nice meal. You did a nicer job there. Look at that. Good job. Let's. All right. Let's finish these and then we'll cut them open. That way, okay. there's yeah. no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. Guts. Guts on. <clears throat> Table's big enough. You can keep them away from the blood. Nice. Your fillet skills have improved greatly over the years. Yes. If something's eating me alive, I think it's the no seam. Yeah, the no seams get really bad at, right at sunset. It's like almost unbearable bad. Yeah, nice. Paper towel? You, oh. should, you should blot him. Oh, yeah. I brought a whole bunch of people. Yeah, just blot them, yeah. It helps. I should have done that to the other one. The other one wasn't bad. It is good to keep them with paper towels yep. in the bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keeps that moisture to a manageable level. Or whatever it is. Oh, I like that. Snapper fillets. Two dinners and 
Now, and now we're going to find out what's inside this guy's gut. Yes. What, what, what have you been eating, my friend? What is in that belly? There we go. You know, it looks kind of empty in there. No kidding. My boy was hungry. He's got an empty belly. Huh. Damn, that wasn't very exciting. That was hungry, man. Well, that's that. Next thing you know, we'll be cooking that bad boy. All right, so here we go. We got this absolutely beautiful mutton snapper. Beautiful, thick. I mean, these fillets are thick. So I am going to create something I have not created before. I've got some recipes bouncing around inside my head. And so here's what I've come up with so far. I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna do this mutton snapper. I'm gonna grill it, very, very simple, very, very plain. I'm gonna put some salt, some pepper, and then just grill it, and then bring it upstairs, and then we're gonna to put together a beautiful orange glaze sauce to go over the top of it. And I'm gonna use these ingredients here, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna test it on Elizabeth. And if she lives, then we know that it's good. <laughs> so that's pretty much how that's gonna go. And I'll be drinking wine on the side, so we'll see how it goes. You and me and Elizabeth together are gonna make this and see how it goes. So follow me, we'll see what happens. So first thing first, saute a little garlic in there just to get it going. So a little oil, a little olive oil. Oh man, you smell that already? I don't, I don't wanna brown it actually. So, the next thing that's going in is, now I, I fresh squeeze this orange juice and some lemon, but you don't have to do that. Any good orange juice will do. Here's the thing about the orange juice too, you need to reduce it a little bit. All right, just gonna stir this just a little bit. You can reduce this a lot. It's got a little bit of lemon juice in it too for flavor, but we're gonna cut the sour of the lemon here in a few moments with a little bit of honey. It's kind of like when we make salmon too. I, I, I gotta do a salmon one because when we make salmon, man, we make the best salmon ever. All right. You should go to Alaska, catch a salmon, and then you know, do a catch and cook with we salmon. We had somebody ask us if we wanted to go to Alaska, and the answer to that is yes, we do. do, 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 do. All right, so I am gonna automatically throw in, you gotta put in a little bit of salt. That's because that's part of the deal. So a little bit of little, little salt, fresh salt. I just picked it in the backyard. So. And I use white pepper. So very, very uh, careful measurement. Right, I'm gonna mix this up with just a little bit. Really, and at the end of all this, this is just going to get poured right over the top of the fish. Going to put in a little Keys Bees, a little, a little bit of honey. Kind of take out the tartness of the lemon. There we go. Also going to put in a little bit of parsley. Because parsley goes good with all fish and seafood. And I'm gonna kind of reduce that. Also, I had a little, I just had a thought. I think at the end of it all, I am gonna throw a couple of capers in there just over the top. All right, so here we go. And that's looking good right now. Very nice. Yep. So it's reducing nicely. Now, we like a little bit of, of heat. So uh, this is optional, but I'm gonna take a, just a couple of pepper flakes. Now Elizabeth loves this. So I'm just gonna just, just a couple of pepper flakes, nothing crazy, so just, just some pepper flakes. And then the last but not least, just because I have, this is an afterthought. This is just something I just kinda concocted, but I'm thinking a couple of capers in there because capers and seafood are absolutely marvelous. You can't go wrong with that. So now I'm gonna give it a good stir, and then I am going to put in the cornstarch and the water. I'm gonna thicken it up, 
and then we're going to put it right on top of the fish. There we go. Just want to make sure it's good to go. There we go. This should thicken it up very nicely. There it goes, just like that. There we go. Now I'm going to just cut. I'm going to cut the heat. Very good. All right. I'm just going to kind of just drizzle it on there. Elizabeth goes. In order to be really bougie, I'm going to take this lemon and we're just going to grate a little bit of the lemon zest on there, just to give it a little zing. And the first one, there we go, very nice. Man, listen, but even if it doesn't taste good, it looks freaking marvelous. All right, Elizabeth, here you are at Shea Dan, Shea Captain Dan, a one and a half star restaurant. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, top of the line here. All right. This is totally first time try for this. Yes. So we're looking for an honest opinion. Okay. Mutton snapper a la range. Okay, that bite I had did not have any of the sauce. It was magnificent. The fish is so good. Let really? me take Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bite with the... Uh, with the sauce? With the sauce. I honestly do not know what to expect here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's really like, it's orangey. So we had good oranges. Okay. But it's also like bright and really citrusy, I think because of the lemon and maybe the lemon zest. And then mm -hmm. like, it's a little sweet, but not over sweet. And uh, the capers really do something for it. Really? It's very good. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, I mean, out of 10, what do we, do we want another one of these someday or? Yeah, I would say probably like um, eight of 10. Okay. I, and what I mean by that is I would add more hot peppers uh -huh. and then I would call it 10 to 10. Okay. Awesome. But the recipe itself is great. No kidding. Yeah. All right. So we just did a wing on that one. So. It just it was just in my brain to kind of put all those flavors together and uh, I think the hot peppers I think you're right it needs a little bit more a little more of the hot peppers to kind of give it a little zing yeah but um, and I think you could do this with any white fish at all oh yeah this for is sure. very you should thick. try it my turn and my turn so I'm kind of excited to see how this is gonna go because this was a wonderful fish that's a beautiful piece look at that so all right here we go Mm. Okay. All right. All right. I find the orange to be refreshing. I thought so too. I thought it was really good. It's like mm. very bright, right? Okay. You know me. We all know me. Not a big fish guy, but on top of just the white rice, or it's the better white rice. Mm hmm. Oh, that sauce works. Mm hmm. Very good. You happy? Yeah, very happy. I mean, very healthy. I mean, orange juice, capers, a little bit of garlic. I didn't even put any wine in this one this time. Wow. So, all right. Um, this is a home run for me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a winner. I could eat this. I will catch more mutton now. Oh, promises, <laughs> promises. No, well, I, let me rephrase. I will attempt to catch more mutton now. Yeah, it's so now good. Now that it comes, I mean, this is great. Yeah, it's yeah. really delicious, right? I would show this to guests. Oh, totally. Yeah. I think people would love this. Yes, absolutely. So if you're in the mood, let us know. Stop by. I'll make this for you. What we did not show you is that our other side, aside from white rice, was the Cleveland kimchi that we've mentioned before. If you like hot, I've got a pro tip for you. And that is don't add more hot peppers. Instead, just have this as your side because the sweetness of this sauce and the orange, the brightness of that, really balances out the heat and the vinegar of this kimchi. We are not affiliated in any way with Cleveland, um, the brand or this particular kimchi. We would be, we would be. So Cleveland kimchi, if you want to sponsor us, we would definitely add you to our website because 
This is so good. We eat more of this Cleveland kimchi and they do a, a sauerkraut that we love as well. We eat so much of that, but it's perfect to balance out this meal with between the sweetness and the brightness of the fish um, and the spiciness and the vinegar of this. So just in case you're looking for a side dish, that's what you should do. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for following us and thanks a lot for, for watching and for, uh, and we just really enjoyed this meal. This is gonna Yo, be- Oh my a, gosh, a great so meal. good. Many thanks to Heiko for taking me out on, on his boat. We had a really great day, as you saw. Yeah, and if you're not subscribed to Heiko's channel, you should oh. definitely go subscribe. And while you're at it, if you're not subscribed to our channel, oh. what are you even doing? <laughs> Be sure that you go hit that subscribe button right now. And for those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. Yep. We love you. We love the support that you give us. And to show you our appreciation, just remember, Every month this year, we are going to be doing a monthly giveaway. Live stream giveaway. So yeah. Second, was it second Saturday of every month? Second Saturday of every month at noon Eastern time. There you go. And if you join uh, and hit the join button, then you automatically get entered with 10, 10 entries. entries. If you did not see our New Year's giveaway live stream, you missed out on mm. noticing that we had members whose names just kept popping up because of those extra 10 entries. Yeah, so cool. it really does pay to be a member, but you don't have to be. Nope. Don't have to yep. be a member, but we certainly do appreciate it. Yeah. If you want to enter our monthly giveaway, go check out the description box below and get registered. There you go. And then uh, we'll do the uh, live stream, answer your questions, tell you about what's going on down here at the, at the, at the time. And also what's, you know, what's happening fishing wise right now it's patchery fishing right yeah. now. That's what's hot. Uh, but you know, that changes over time. So, and if you're planning on coming down, we'll be more than happy to kind of pass out our tips and explain exactly what's going down on here in the, uh, the Florida Upper Keys. Yeah, so. it'll be like a, a fishing report for whatever is going on yep. for that particular time. And the <laughs> live giveaway. That's right. So, all right, good deal. All right, thank you. We love you guys yep. and you know what to do. Hey, follow, follow us. us. What are you eating, man? What do you got over there? A gas station taquito. Oh, nice. Looking forward to this. Most marvelous, it's the most marvelous experience. Marvelous. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of juice on this net. All right, here we go. <laughs> I want my rod to bend. That's what she said. <laughs> and I was doing it for the, for the subs, man. For the subs. I was doing it for the subs. Come on, fish on, right away. It's all for the subs. Everything. Everything we do. No, no, if I start convulsing, just, just push me out to the sea. <laughs> okay. Ha! God, I love this patch reef. I'm just going to quit fishing all year and just come out for patch reefs in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Take up skydiving or something. All right, we're going to let him go. You don't want to put anything soft and long in that mouth. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Not if you want to keep it. Because <laughs> you're committing murder over here. Right? Murder! <laughs> well, this is borderline murder, yeah. Mm -hmm. Depends who you ask. If you ask the fish. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah, send him away for life. Oh, the skin. Mm -hmm. Crocodile meat. Crocodile food. This would actually be like a cool wallet. That would be a very cool wallet. I just don't know if you can preserve fish skin like that. Mm. I don't know. We could, there's gotta be a way. I don't know. I like things moist. Moist, moist and juicy, of course. Moist and juicy. That's why they do, ready? Take, take one. Right, I have not done that. Okay, well, I'll be waiting for that. I'm going, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Downstairs and I'm just gonna grill it. That is the white rice that is done in the rice cooker. So anyway, all right, we're gonna put in a little. Nope. Uh uh. Nope. <laughs> Make sure you use Florida oranges. No other oranges will do. California oranges? Sorry, California. It's gotta be Florida oranges. Just saying. And I use white pepper. 